Well, good afternoon. No, good evening. It's um, it's um, just gone 25 to 7. So I'll give you a quick update on our Bavarian artillery because we've been beavering away at these all day. So here's the... You, know, you can see these bases. Let's see if I can get to show you these. That's the bases. Let me show you one here. That's our bases for our artillery pieces. And actually, these bases started life. Anybody, any ideas? They started life as a casino chip. It's just the ideal size for um, an artillery piece. So that's what we used. It's good. Keep your eyes out for them in charity shops. You can buy them in little boxes in charity shops. They're useful. So that's the bases done. They're finished, ready to go. There's no grass on them because we'll add the static grass once we've put the artillery piece on the base. But here's the artillery pieces painted military green I think that's the right color or near damn it so I've had two coats of that I've still some highlights to do so I will do that oh, sugar. I will do that in a little bit or possibly tomorrow excuse me while I just add some water to my palate because it's drying out because of the heat it's drying out so that's the artillery pieces so like I say still some highlights to do and do the rims of the wheels and, and also the barrels which we've been doing now I've done these in to my dark copper simply because I didn't have any bronze so what I think I might do is once I've done some little highlights on the hoops around the barrel give it a little tiny wash of something very very faint wash of something just to tone it down a bit but that's the barrels anyway so our next sitting at the workbench, I think we get these finished, these artillery pieces. So that's that, been working at it all day, done a good day's stint at the workbench, which for me makes a change lately, because I've been neglecting the workbench a bit, which is not good. I want to get this stuff done. So we get this done when we can crack on with something else. I think, um, me being me, you know what I'm like, I say, well, I think I'll do something, I'll do X, Y, Z, and then I end up doing A, B, C, and I said the other day, I think I'll probably do some, I've got a lot of infantry to do, I'll probably do some British infantry, some 95th rifles or something, so, Karen being Karen, Karen I've decided that I will do some cavalry, <laughs> do some cavalry, I'm going to do some British Hussars. Then once I've done a batch of British Hussars, I will... Look at that sticking out like that. Look. That annoys me. My hair annoys me, folks. Do you ever get that hair sticking out? So once I've done a batch of British Hussars, that'll be the cavalry finished. Because we have... Two batches of French cuirassiers, which is, I think, about 48, 49 cuirassiers done. Which, for the size table we're planning, 6 by 4 that, that's, that's, that'll be okay for a thrash. So I get a bunch of hussars done. I have already have a bunch of Scots greys. 
I have some um, Cossacks and also some mounted rocket troopers so we do a bunch of hussars that'll be enough cavalry for both sides for now anyway for now I mean I've got boxes and boxes of cavalry here but for now that'll, that'll do so I think that's what we'll do next so we're, we're cracking on with this cracking on with this I mean once we got these guns finished that'll be 15 guns for the French with all the gunners painted so that'll be enough guns for them for now I mean, we can always do more in the future but for now that'll be enough for them so all it remains for the French is just infantry that's all just infantry so we're really getting there now we're cresting the hill <coughs> to go down to the run into the finish which is good I'm really pleased I'm really pleased with the effort I've made today, which is good. Yeah, I want to get this project finished, you know. And as you know, if you've been watching my videos, if you've not, why haven't you? But as you know, I am going to do, after I've done the 20mm stuff, I've got 135 scale stuff to do. A lot of World War II 135 scale stuff. So I thought, whilst I'm waiting for this paint, to dry and all that business and I never really got a lot else to do I thought and I was prompted prompted to do this I watched one of um, now I think he's called Robert Gain and Robert if I've got your name wrong I'm sorry but he was in it I was watching his latest video he was in his basement <clears throat> I would have a basement like that I mean and he was pulling out boxes of this and boxes of that and my god that guy put me to shame I thought I had a lot of stuff he put me to shame I'm honestly for the amount of stuff he had he must spend a fortune on his hobby but what the hell you know life is short so it sort of prompted me to get out some of the 135 stuff and give you a look at some of the stuff that we got for down the road after we've done the 20 million 20 millimeter so i'll see you in a second <laughs> 